Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been good, I've been great, I've been swell. I've been working a beam on myself. It's been up, it's been down with my feet on the ground. I know I'll be okay. Cause I'm grateful, grateful. Cause I'm grateful, grateful. Grateful for the hate you give They push me further than your love is ever dear Receive my blessings, got your text It's not the message Heartless people leave me breathless Happiness and really finding someone else Is the amount of love that you give yourself Before I build myself up to the view I seek You stay sleeping on the one you dream you could be I've been good, I've been great, I've been swell I've been working a beam on myself it's been up, it's been down With my feet on the ground I know I'll be okay Cause I'm grateful, grateful Cause I'm grateful, grateful Gap between my thumbs of the screen I'm on a mission to be what I thought I never could be okay. Since it's heightened, that is only because of the weed I try not to complain, I am only human, you see Saying thank you to God for all he has given to me Even though I don't deserve it, he still believes I am worth it And I'm grateful, cause I never had to question my purpose And everything I have, I can say that I've honestly I've earned it, you feel good, me? I've been good, I've been great, I've been swell I've been working a dream on myself It's been up, it's been down with my feet on the ground, I know I'll be okay. Cause I'm grateful, grateful. Cause I'm grateful, grateful. Cause I'm grateful. It's been down with my feet on the ground. I know I'll be okay. Cause I'm grateful, grateful. Cause I'm grateful, grateful. Slide. I gave you the past, and now you pass me by. Don't make that mistake, you still got stairs to climb. And if you ever fall, just know I'm not behind. Ahead of my time, ahead of my time. Yeah, 2094, they gon' press and grind. Yeah, ahead of my time, ahead of my time. Yeah, 2094, they gon' press and grind. Yeah, finna get rich. Uh, me and the click. Safe, safe, safe. Hey, ahead of my time, my fall for my prime. Ooh. Nickels and dimes, yeah. yeah. I need all the mines. Yeah, she says she a dyke, yeah. but she hey. down for the night. You party poopers trying to fool us. Go to Uber, play maneuver. Close the Vito with my two boots. Like the Vito, they gon' follow my two days. Your two mile with the and booming like the bottles. Niggas really trying to cost us. Don't play down to get a coffee. Uh -huh. I 
I'm just not the type to let these things just slide in. I gave you the past, now you pass me by. Don't make that mistake, you still got steps to climb. Yo, 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 yo! What's up, Bully World? It's your boy in the building, Easy. It's doing the most. It's Bully Club TV, baby. We live. We live and direct. First time and only that you're going to see this, baby. It is what it is. We got a special guest tonight. I hope everybody's ready. Hope everybody's ready. Join in, people. Join in, join in, join in. Before we, we, we get this thing started, man, we're going to have everybody out there. Uh, we got a special guest tonight. We, we're gonna bring him on later right now. Alright, come on, get in, 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 get in. What's good, really? Whoa! Yeah! Let me just go through and then show you guys who we're gonna have tonight uh, on the interview tonight. Let's go! Come on, baby, let me hold ya. Now your body keeps causing commotion. I tell her, say, put. Yo, 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 what's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? Is everybody good? Is everybody good? Tell me how you're feeling in the comment section, baby. Let me know. Let the boy know how you're feeling. It is what it is. Booty Club TV. We're doing it big again. We're live. We're with a special guest today. Um, You know. It's what we do every time. Let's make this thing. Let's make this thing jump nicely. Let's make this thing jump nicely. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what it is. There we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, lo, lo, fresh, baby. What's good? What's good? Yes, yeah, Booty Club TV, baby. We got a special guest today. You guys might know him from uh, Unified Bullies. It's my main man. He's out here from my brother, from another mother, man, and um. You guys get your questions ready, get everything ready. Uh, we're going to have this man out here. Come on, guys. Join in, join in, join in, join in. I see my people are still missing. I see my people are still missing. Come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. How's everybody feeling? Let me know in the comments how you're feeling before we start this thing. Let me know how you're feeling. What up, what up, what up? Yeah. I see my main man's got the same same name as you over there. There he is. Let's put him on blast. <laughs> Jasper. Yeah. Almo Saro. <laughs> What's good? What's good? I see as your family member out there, you're supporting. That's what it is, you know? Support, support, support. Get on, get on, get on, people. Let's get on. Let's get this thing rocking. Let's get this thing rocking, right? Let's get it rocking. How's everybody feeling? Let me know. Let me know how you're feeling. Coming through, coming through. Let me know how you're feeling. Let's, let's have a conversation before we get my main man on. Make sure everybody's feeling good. You know, us at Bully Club TV, we want to make sure everybody feels good, everybody feels loved, before we, we bombard them, you know, with things. Yeah, yeah, people are saying we're ready. Okay, okay, let's say, putty putty. Is that I hope I'm saying it correct. <laughs> Says, let's go. And then we got Christine saying, we are ready. Are you sure you guys are ready? Get on, get on, get on. We got the main man out here, we got the main man out here. It's a very important interview that we, we do it right here, man. Guys, must, must, must get on, get on, get on, get on. All right, so we got the main man today from Unified Bullies, Jeffrey Almosaro. That's who he is. You know him from the guy who got uh, said Dom, you know? He's, he's creating some extreme pockets, man. Extreme pockets, man. You know him from Tyson, from creating, he's got Tyson, you know? You know him from, now he's got the new boy, Dozer. He's going to be the next level. He's going to be next level. Next level. What up? What up? It is. It is what it is. It's Unified Bullies in the building, baby. All the little fresh Bully Club TV. Do that thing. Do that thing. All right. Let's get the boy in. Let's get the homie in. I know you guys have been waiting for him. We're going to get him in right here. Uh, here's my boy. Let's get him in right now. Everybody ready for him? Unified Bullies in the building. Let's go. There he is. That's my main man. What is good? What is good? What's, What's good, What's easy. good? How you doing? I'm good, good. <laughs> Fantastic, bro. Fantastic, bro. Let me just um, I got the wrong camera in there. Let me just yeah, there we go. Now we're looking good. Now we're looking good. Sweet. Let me just do that, and then yeah, there we go. 
Sweet. How you doing, brother? You good? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, we got Jeffrey in the building in the hizzy. Unified bruh, bullies, baby. What up, what up, what up? Show him some respect. Show him some respect, man. This man got some extreme pockets, man. Stream. You've never seen them in a, anywhere but at Unified Bullies. That's where you see them. You know, he got Tyson. He got Saddam. You know, he's got Dozer. If you don't know who Dozer is, check out my, my, my Instagram and my Facebook. I posted them out there uh, not so long ago. And you see him. The gray, um, the blue boy right there. Thick, 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 man. Wide. Very extreme, man. Lovely looking boy. Brother, how's how's it going that side by your side? How's the, the lockdown, the quarantine, all of that stuff going on there? It's it's going steady, you know. Uh, uh -huh. just trying to stay home and stay healthy. Uh, yeah. working from home. Yeah. Uh, trying to stay the the whole uh COVID issue, you know. Try not to spread it. <laughs> uh, but Texas is uh, it, they got their their amount of people who have it. So yeah. Yeah. So trying to stay safe, you know. Yeah. Distant definitely. social distancing. Definitely social distance. You see, we're even doing the interview like we're doing it right now. You know, we've been moving everything live. <laughs> That's how it is. Sweet, brother. So, so tell the people, man, when did you start breeding, man? And, and breeding bulls well, specifically. Um, well, as soon as I got out of the Air Force back in 2015, uh, yeah, yeah. prior to that, I actually was, me and my brothers have been yeah. uh, Let me just uh, researching. Right you just said you were, you were in the Air Force. We gotta give you some some round of applause, baby. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to the Air Force. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, continue. <laughs> Appreciate it. No yeah. So I was I was prior military. So uh, while I was stationed overseas, uh, I've been contemplating trying to to get one of these uh, these amazing dogs. Yeah. Uh, me and my brother Jasper. Uh, he's in the military also. Uh, yeah, yeah. We, we've always place. loved. Dogs, you know, we we love the breed. Um, prior to that, we we loved pit bulls back then. You know, originally from California, uh, and and pretty much raised there. Yeah. Uh, and um, then I got into the bully scene right after I got out. Uh, we we basically bought every bloodline that I think we can think of because of the fact that we didn't do the research, <laughs> so we we went ahead and spent the money and uh, you know. Uh, but the the first uh, thing that got us into it, the first person was uh, Ed Shepard. Uh, yeah. We watched a lot of his YouTube, uh, got addicted to it. You know, uh, when you're a newbie, you, uh, you do all the researches as much as much as you can, and to figure out if this is the the breed you want. You know, yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we we purchased a few dogs, uh, females, males. We just didn't, you know, like again, we didn't know what we were doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we just doing it. Um, but, uh, at that time I was living in, uh, the, uh, North Dakota, uh, which was my last base. And then, um, from there on, uh, uh started flourishing, got me a Dax daughter, uh, Italy. Uh, she was one of my first, uh, dogs. And actually I had another one. His name was, uh, uh, Rebel. Uh, he was a Dax son, but he didn't look like a Dax, uh, type dog that I wanted, yeah, yeah, yeah. me and my brother wanted. So, uh, again, we we went and searched, and again we you know uh, we pretty much uh, made our mistakes, you know, and and then we learned from it, yeah. and from then on, I mean, I, I loved the the breed ever since. Definitely, fantastic. And then, uh, uh, which dog would you say was the one that you got, and you were like, you know what, I'm changing the game with this dog right here. <laughs> well. I, at first, we went, when before we became unified, we were the Boss Kennels. Uh, oh, yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. that was the original uh, kennel that me and my brother uh, we we made, and uh, along came a, a buddy of ours uh, who is the CEO of Unified Bullies. Bullies is DJ. Mm -hmm. uh, he got he got us into a, a different look. Yeah. So again, you have you have the Dax, and then you have the. Uh, you have the Miyagi look. Mm -hmm. So uh, we ended up purchasing a, a dog named Uso. Uh, Us, actually Us, who, who is off of uh, uh, a Miyagi uh, daughter. Mm -hmm. And uh, he he was a blue. Uh, he kind of looked like Tyson, uh, mm -hmm. shorter version yeah. uh, with a good size head. Uh, from there, we, we started off with that. And we didn't really understand what we want, but we wanted that. 
that kind of look, that mm-hmm. kind of dog, uh, with the short, stocky, with the big head, mm-hmm. uh, boned up, um, and and that's what our vision uh, entailed into uh, what we were gonna do. And then I saw, uh, I went to a, uh, a national, uh, ABKC national, and I seen the dog that changed changed our life, yeah. you know. Uh, <laughs> And his name is Tyson. Tyson. And uh, yeah, so I, uh, I, I never seen a dog like that before. I yeah. uh, when I seen him, he was uh, he at the time he was a puppy. Um, yeah, and uh, his head was just just out there. You know, he was something else. You know, um, from then I fell in love with the dog, and I ended up getting him. <laughs> sweet, and that's the boy Tyson right there in the back by, by your, on your background, right? If for the homies that don't yeah. know, that's him right there. That's Tyson, baby. That's the one that changes his life. So, so you, so then you get Tyson, right? And then what's the next step from there after you get Tyson? What, what do you then? What's your, what's your plan? Or, or what, what happens? You know. Um, when we got Tyson again, we we were were barely beginning. I, I, I me and my brother were still contemplating on what what the. Uh, what our vision would be. Yeah. We didn't really have a vision at the time until he came, until Tyson came along mm-hmm. and we focused on him. Um, and we said, uh, this is the, the kind of dog that we wanted to breed. Uh, exactly. This is the kind of look that we wanted to, to, to solidify in our foundation yeah. uh, with unified bullies. And then from there on, we, you know, he, he became a stud. Uh, he did he didn't start, producing or we we still really didn't start breeding until like two years later yeah. uh his two years uh, when he was two years old uh, when tyson was two years old uh is when we started to breed because we weren't uh like again we we were still new uh we we barely went to shows um and from then on when we started going to shows we started meeting a lot of people and people wanted to breed to tyson yeah and uh from and we had to go to the next level and and and, and start researching. Yeah, and then uh, said Don is your own uh, creation, right? Did you you didn't buy that one, or did you buy him too? No, he was a he was a pup back off of Holly oh, okay. uh, Mountain State uh, yeah. He was bred to Phoenix, who is a uh, heat wave. Uh, a heat wave daughter yeah, yeah. and uh so phoenix was bred to tyson who produced dom oh, um yeah. our our goal was when that again uh, we bred tyson quite a few females um and they all turned out you know uh extreme with that wow wow factor look uh, but when i got dom because we wanted to add color into the look of tyson yeah uh, we weren't expecting what we, we we have now, and then he came out and he he matured and he's got the signature headpiece as Tyson, but not as big, but it's pretty much there. Yeah. Um, uh, another wild factor type of dog. Definitely. So then, um, Doza, how does he then come into play? How how, how did you breed to him to get him? What what what, what happened over there? Um, those are what created or his, he was produced off of Tyson's daughter, uh, Tyson's daughter, who is rain who was off of Jessica Jones, which was, uh, a female that we, we, we got off of, um, of, uh, uh, other breeders, uh, from James Tao. Uh, he produced, uh, 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 Jiggle, uh, 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 Jessica Jones. And we bred him, uh, her to Tyson, and produced Rain, who Rain was the daughter, and we bred Rain to, um, what is his name, Raza, yeah. off of Ash, Ash, Ash Rosso, uh, and that's how we produced uh, Dozer. Yeah, lovely, lovely. Uh, and then so now, uh, wh- so in your breedings, are you mostly doing like line breeding or some inbreeding? Oh, outcrossing. What is it that you mostly focus on in your breedings over there? When when we when I started uh, studying out Tyson, I I wanted to to you know kind of fill out the what what he's capable of, um, yeah. what what uh, what breeds, what bloodline he can yeah. uh, produce off of. Uh, so what I did was you know uh, 
again, as a beginner, uh, we, we had to test the waters. Yeah. So I bred Tyson to, to females who were probably taller than him, yeah. shorter than him, Dax, Razor's Edge. Uh, we did it all. I mean, he bred to a lot of females. Yeah. Uh, we didn't have a, uh, you know, we weren't strict at that time. Yeah. Um, but at the outcome it came out uh, majority of the, the, the litters of the pups come out with with massive looks big head big bone um, not too much of a short stature but they were still extreme looking mm-hmm. uh, and so yeah from there on I mean it was just you know the sky was the limit um, and he and I knew uh, as a stud owner uh, for me in order to for you to understand your stud you got to know what clicks with with your blood, yeah. with his blood, yeah. um, and and uh, the looks that will produce off of him. Um, majority of productions of tight off of Tyson, it, it strong the strong part of his blood it, it falls down to his females, his daughters. Yeah. His daughters are the carriers of his look. Oh, so okay. when you you breed Tyson, I automatically I already know the females produce his massive look. Yeah. Um, compared to the males, the males is it's like a hit or miss. Yeah. Um, um, but again, they still have their own touch of uh, uh, look, yeah. you know. So um, yeah, so again, yeah, his daughters were the strong uh, um, part of his blood. It's gonna continue where we left off. Okay, we on. Okay. Yes, you were saying okay, that. Uh, so Sorry, guys, we just got yeah. cut off a bit, but we we back, we back, we back. We're continuing the whole thing. Okay, so you're saying line breeding you preferred uh, recently? Yeah, I prefer line breeding. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, like I said, we did the outcross. We did the, uh, you know, um, I, I haven't uh, did too much of the inbreeding, which is like from father to daughter yeah. kind of uh, breeding. I'm trying to uh, breed out the flaws off of Tyson. Tyson mm-hmm. is not... Again, he's he's the wow factor, but he's not the um, he's not perfect yeah. in any sense. He's he's still there's still things that you need to uh, to, to correct off of him. So our, our whole goal is to try to bring that image or his light look look like on on his litters, but in the correct way. Yeah. You, know, um, you know, as a breeder, you want to breed out the flaws and and make the breed better. You know, yeah. um, so that was our goal. Um, in, in, in with Tyson's bloodline. Yeah. Um, so yeah. so uh, the majority of our, our breedings is mostly line breeding. Line so. breeding, yeah. Sweet. And then what, what kind of, you mentioned flaws, what kind of flaws um, does he have that you're working with? Well, he's, he's a, as, uh, as Tyson was a puppy, as he was growing, he, uh, he grew too fast. He was a, he was a very massive dog for such yeah. a size. Yeah. Um, and back then we were, we weren't really too sure about health issues. Yeah. Uh, we didn't think about that in the long, in the long run. Um, but again, it was more like you, you figure it out as you go along. Uh, you, you figure out what your, your dog's weaknesses and his strengths are. Yeah. Um, and, and, uh, with, with Tyson's weakness, um, you know, his, his feet's not the, the greatest, yeah. but for see him, um, the first thing you see is his head and his body. I mean, everybody, uh, you know, uh, I tell you this, I mean, uh, I, when I go to like ABKC national shows and yeah. things like that, uh, I'm not afraid to stack him next to the best, yeah. you know, um, you know, it's just almost like a pose down in a, in, in a bodybuilding contest, but there, it's not a, really a contest because there are a lot of beautiful dogs out there. Definitely. You know, I've, I've stacked Tyson, um, with the best. I, I stuck, I stacked him with, uh, Lucky Luciano. Yeah. Um, uh, who else? Uh, uh, a, a lot of dogs. Yeah. yeah, he's one of he's one of the ones, and uh, like I said, I respect a lot too with uh, Alex Ferrer for for um, being a great uh, yeah. breeder who I looked to at the time too. You know, and, and now, so yeah, so yeah, I, he has his flaws like any other dog. Yeah. As a small, as a short, stocky dog, he, yeah. he only could, you know, you can only do so much with a big body. Yeah, definitely. You know? Shout out, shout out, shout out to Alex as well. We we did an interview on him uh, not so long ago. Great, great, great guy, great guy. And we, we, we got one of his sons out here in, uh, from Lucky Luciano. So, 
yeah, you were t- so so you were saying you're telling us the flaws and you're telling us all of this. So now let's get to. Uh, are we still live? Okay, I just saw an error message there. But anyway, we still live. Um, so then let's get back to the. Uh, how much do you start out Tyson for? Uh, I set out Tyson at three grand, uh, three thousand for Tyson stud. Yeah. Um, a lot of people ask me, you know, he's close or or not. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, so I I I'm more specific now with the females that I breed yeah. to him, um, because of the fact that I'm pushing out his his sons yeah. and his grandson, which is which Dozer is a grandson. Yeah. Um, and and uh, and Dom. Uh, if you've seen, I, I post a lot of Dom and, yeah, and yeah, Dozer yeah. a lot because uh, uh, I think they're uh, more of a better version of, of, of Tyson when it comes yeah. down to like Sir Dom. Clean feet, you know, good body, good structure. Yeah. Uh, he can he can uh, he can get more poli- He can get polished more with um, beautiful other females too. So again, you c- there's always room for for uh, for growth. Yeah. Sweet. So, so now when you're breeding, um, what kind of females are you looking for? Like, what exactly is it that you're looking to breed to? To what kind of female to better improve your your line or what so forth? You know. A lot of uh, first thing too. First off, um, the, uh, a lot of people say, "Hey, uh, what do you look in the, into a female? Uh, do you look at their the look first, or do you look at their pets? You know, um." I, Whatever catches my eye at first is what I I like, you yeah. know, what's appealing to my eye. I, I, then I'll look at the pedigree. Then I'll say, oh, okay, well, well we can try this. Yeah. Um, and, you know, uh, if there's a certain blood or a stud or a female that I've seen in previous uh, pedigrees that uh, I produce good, uh, uh, better litter off of Tyson, then I'll, I'll go ahead and take it. Um, but uh, other than that, I mean uh, – to perfect the breed or to, to better the breed, um, that's my whole goal and, yeah. and to make a better version. So if I find a female, nice size head, but the body's there, yeah. guess the, the, the activeness, um, the drive, yeah. uh, that's what I go for, yeah. you know, um, just like the, the breeders now. I mean, like, again, um, it's been, I've been doing this, this thing with the breeding with the bullies and stuff for about six over six years now. Yeah. Uh, so now you kind of know what you want and yeah. uh, what to avoid. Yeah, exactly. So you go, for it. you know what I'm saying? So uh, a lot of people like to, to do pub backs. They want pop back. Hey, they're like, hey, Jeff, can we do a pub back? You know, <laughs> again, with the, uh, for me, um, if the female is right and I like the female really, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to go for it. I'll say, yeah. hey, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Um, and, and then we'll produce, which what happened was with Sir Dom, you know, yeah. uh, situation. Sweet. So then, um, oh, now I almost lost my train of thought. Um, uh, I was going to ask you something really important, man. <laughs> I kind of forgot <laughs> it right now, but I'm, I'm going to remember it right now. Oh yeah. What do you feed your dogs? Um, when I first started, yeah. I, I did the whole, uh, rookie mentality type thing. Yeah. Um, you ask questions to all these breeders. Yeah. Um, uh, and we, I used to feed my dogs raw, yeah. you know, I, I bought like almost a hundred pounds worth of beef, you yeah. know, and bought a refrigerator, a freezer just for it. Yeah. Uh, cut up uh, chicken. I did the whole works. Yeah, Everybody yeah. does uh, the expensive dog food. Um, you know, uh, the grain free, yeah, uh, yeah, right, Victor, yeah. you know, diamond, those, typical stuff um but now uh i i came to find uh, i guess i came to realize that it's 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 part of the food you feed your dogs yeah um it's the genetics of your dogs that that come out mm-hmm. it's not the food but i yeah. i feed my dogs just regular local dog food yeah. uh with liquid gold um just i want to throw this out there this is if you can see it, yeah, uh, because, it because, be because of the, the thing you did, that back screen. The, back. <laughs> but yeah. it's liquid, liquid gold. Oh, there um, you can see now, right yeah. here. Yeah, gold, gold dust, yeah. Uh, and it's uh, it's the product from uh, Sam Brew. Yeah. He owns liquid gold, and this liquid gold has Dom on it right here. Oh yeah, uh, he's sponsored. 
with uh, with Tyson. He's sponsored. They're both sponsored by Liquid Gold. So, uh, on top of the dog food, I feed them. I feed them the powder and the the uh, the Liquid Gold uh, uh, with the 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 vitamins and the ingredients that they have in there. It, it helps with their shiny body, um, bones, and uh, pretty much everything. You know. So I live by that. You know, yeah. that's what I feed my litter, uh, my puppies too. So, yeah. um, and maybe that's the reason why they come out the way they are, uh, yeah. that massive look. Yeah. <laughs> it's not boy. steroids. A lot of people think you, yeah. you, you shoot up your dogs with steroids. No, I don't, you know, <laughs> I, I don't at all. <laughs> so no more raw, just, uh, the gold, um, what did you say it was gold, uh, I forgot the gold name. Dust. Gold dust. dust, yeah. Liquid gold and gold, gold dust, yeah. uh, and then the dog food, you know, um, uh, uh, mainly that's what I feed my my, my dogs. Um, I, I stopped feeding raw for a few years now. Uh, it's it expensive after a while, and it takes a lot of time to do it. Yeah, it you takes know? a lot of time to do it. Um, yeah. If we had yeah. one or two dogs, I think it would be okay, but yeah. Yeah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, obviously you you have a couple of dogs and stuff. Uh, okay, sweet. I see, I see. Uh, mm-hmm. What tips do you have for any bully breeders here in South Africa? And, and so forth, and so forth, you know. And maybe you can bring some. You can tell that guy to bring some of that look at gold. I see South African saying it's, it's obviously gonna you know, be hard for us to get some of that. <laughs> so you maybe me and you oh, will okay. talk, and maybe we we'll, we can get it out here or something, you know. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Um, well, my for me, uh, as uh, advice to give to the uh, the new newcomers, especially in, in South Africa. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That uh, uh, do your research. Uh, a lot of research needs to be done before you do anything because it's uh, it's not just buying a dog because it's it's expensive, you know, to buy buy these bullies if you, you already know. Uh, so do your investment in in research first before you you uh, you decide to get a dog. Um, uh, like I said, along the way, it only it took only a couple years for us to realize, hey, you know, this is what we want. You know, uh, uh, not not since when we first started, we didn't know what what was going on. Um, but since it's just such a uh, a young breed, mm-hmm. um, there's more more to come, more improvements in, in breeds. Um, and my my thing to everybody is just yeah, just you know, take care of one another when mm-hmm. it comes down to to the dog world or the bully world. Uh, it, it's it's rough waters out there. It's mm-hmm. not what you expected. I, I never expected it's all about just breeding dogs it's not just about breeding dogs it's about socializing yeah. networking yeah. um you know uh staying in your own lane yeah. uh, there's there is a lot of people out there uh willing to step on another person to to get where they're at you know just yeah. to get on top yeah. and it's not worth it yeah. um you know you, you don't need to do that uh, yeah. but if you love the dogs that's your whole focus you know it's not about fame and fortune because I, I can guarantee you, it's you, you ain't gonna get rich off of the dogs. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you're, you're not, you know. Um, but what keeps me going uh, with this is is to have that that vision, I, I, I guess, uh, of that dog um, in your mind, and then it comes into reality. Is what keeps you pushing uh, at the end of the day, yeah. you know. Shout out! Let's give you an applause for that. Lovely advice you gave us in South Africa. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm just gonna open up the the lines out here for everybody, so they can go ahead and ask uh, any of the questions that they wanna ask. You know, now uh, we got the man over here, Jeffrey. Um, out here from under uh, from Unified Bullies. Bring through, bring through, bring through, bring through all your questions. Ask him. He's live and direct. He's gonna answer everything out here. Let's 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 send them through. Let's send them through. Any questions you got from my main man Jeffrey? You know, from Unified Bullies. Let's put it out there. And then let's ask him. We got him live. For, I mean, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity, guys. It's not going to happen again and again and again. You know what I mean? So I'm going to give you a few minutes and stuff so you can get your questions in order and send through your questions, man. Send you your questions. He's right here. He's going to answer for it, man. He's going to answer. Have you have you seen any South African dogs on my pages? I have been posting a few of them. I don't know if you checked them out yet. Oh, yeah. I've seen them. Beautiful dogs. You know, oh, it, yeah. It's uh, it's good to know that there's a lot of uh, uh, productions out there. I mean, uh, uh, American Bullies, great looking ones. Um, uh, Unified Bullies 
you know, it, it, they came from the the whole chapter came from San Jose, California. Yeah. And now that we've uh, we spread out a little bit more uh, in the Philippines, we're running strong in the Philippines. Uh, shout out to my my brothers in the Philippines. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, they they own daughters of Tyson and a son of, of Tyson. Yeah. Um, so it's it's spreading. Um, uh, the bloodline is starting to come out there. The look is 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 starting to. Uh, um, you know, to generate out through different countries, you know, um, yeah. again, I, I've, I've studied Tyson in Australia, uh, UK, um, and, uh, China, you know, of course, China has got beautiful yeah, dogs it's, it's and like China was one of the, uh, one of the, the countries that, that was really on me when I had Tyson, when oh, I was, yeah. when I was, uh, promoting him, they, yeah, they, they wanted they to buy him. Look, yeah. <laughs> they wanted him. So I, again, I, couldn't let him go. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. How many how many uh, kids do you think he's got? You know, you, you, can you put a number uh, on it? Do you think? You know, I lost I lost count of how much <laughs> leaders he has. I, I I can't even count it. Um, I don't know how the the other uh, breeders, you know, like yeah. like Alex, you know, uh, Ed Shepard, folks like that, you know, yeah. George Soto. Uh, uh, and an other good friend of mine, George Aguilar, who owns uh, who owns Louis V. Um, yeah, I you know I got to the point where days go by too too fast, the years go by fast. You don't even know how old your dog is after a while yeah. <laughs> because you know the time flies. You know, yeah. so yeah. Uh, all I all I see is uh, uh, people will message me and say, hey, uh, hey, this is Tyson's daughter. This is Tyson's son. This is Tyson's yeah. grand son great great grandson and you know and i'm just like oh wow you know yeah. i'm like i'm lost you know i i get i get lost myself too and so i'm like gotta backtrack you know yeah. <laughs> backtrack and and find out who who the dads or parents are so yeah sweet okay we got a question over here and he's saying have you tried to inbreed um like tyson to one of his daughters and uh, if, if so what was the outcome well, we we we've had a uh, two Tyson daughters. Uh, I remember it's uh, Dolce uh, and uh, Donia. Yeah. Uh, I, I did inbred, uh, and they produced beautiful dog, yeah. beautiful litter. Um, again, when uh, a female, uh, I guess to me, it it seems like once you breed your your uh, your male or the dad to the daughter, uh, you you double up on things. Also, you double up in the third generation of the pedigree of your of your female or, you know, the daughter um, and you end up producing you, you still produce the look. You, you still produce the the headpiece um, and uh, and they, they do come out beautiful. I mean, they, they still become out beautiful. But I try I, I do my best not to do it, you know, um, because I, I again, I, I think um Knowing Tyson's genetics and, and his health, yeah. uh, I want I want to produce something out of that. You yeah, know, exactly. I don't want to I don't want to keep rolling that on to another and and keep doing that again. It, yeah. It's something I, I I try not to do. Fantastic, fantastic, very honest answer over there. And then you saying yeah, uh, got a question yeah. Um, how big is Tyson's head? Uh, <laughs> his head is twenty six and a half inches. Big. Sure, twenty six and a half inches big. Give him a round of applause for that big ass head. <laughs> oh, we got a big head. Bro, we got a big head. Sending you some more questions. Send me some more questions. Uh, we want to ask too. We got Jeffrey in the building today. Uh, once once in a lifetime opportunity, baby. He's been answering some great questions. Uh, very honestly, you know, and very open. Let's give him a, a horns over there. You know. That head is big, man. They, um, we got the guy who you answered the question about uh, inbreeding, and he's saying thanks for the answer. Salutes for you, uh, to you, to you, bro. That's You're welcome. Fantastic, fantastic. <laughs> and then we got some more comments. Yeah, uh, people are just like, um, yeah, another it's like salute to you, sir, Je- uh, Jeff. And then yeah, and another guy also. What's this one? Let me see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where you going, bro? Oh yeah, so one guy is like, "Yo, you need to get some primal raw or raw revolution." That's the food we selling out here in uh, South Africa. It's some raw food for dogs that we sell out here. Real nice stuff. <laughs> oh, 
I'll show you. I'll show you what it looks like. I'll show you. I feed my dogs the same thing. There, I love it because um, I don't have to. I just don't like cleaning up poop. So I notice every time I feed the keep the kibble, it's just a lot more poop than when I do with the raw. <laughs> so that's why I that's love true. It. That, I I figured that out too when I started doing raw. Um, yeah. the first week was uh was not the greatest, and then <laughs> after that, of course, you know, yeah. you start having little bits of you know poop on the yard which is cool you know but now with the, the kibble and on top of all the the, the yeah. supplements that i give my dogs you know yeah they they become monster poop you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah they, it comes out it, yeah. everything comes out so <laughs> yeah, saying, uh, tyson is a beautiful dog he really loves the dog you know and then this one is like yeah the boy in the back is stick Damn, <laughs> hey, and he's saying we need some of that out here in SA, so you know we we have to make something happen and bring him down here. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, we uh, I again um, I've got semen shipping out to uh, Australia. Oh, yeah. uh, one of my buddies out there, yeah. um, and uh, and it's, it's gonna be Tyson, of course, in Amsterdam, and yeah. uh, UK is also we have. Uh, it, uh, his semen going out there, so I, I don't advertise too much. Um, I, I try not to, but uh, I get a lot of messages, so a lot of personal messages, uh, PMs from a lot of people all over the world uh, asking me questions, especially in IG. Uh, Instagram is like one of the most active yeah. uh, when it comes down to my dogs. Yeah. Um, I, I get everybody from all over all over the world asking me questions um, uh, about them. And uh, who do I compare? Uh, one thing is they always say, who, who do you compare Tyson to? You know, yeah. uh, 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 when it comes to uh, uh, looks, you know. Yeah. Uh, right now, a uh, good friend of mine, you know, Eddie, yeah. who owns China Boy. Yeah, we did uh, an interview with him not so long ago. Great guy, great guy. Great guy, great yeah. guy. Uh, I saw yeah. he's having a, 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 a love moment there <laughs> in the comments. <laughs> yeah. With China Boy, he's China Boy almost has the same type of pedigree as yeah. Tyson. He yeah. does. Um, like uh, comparing Tyson to him, uh, I think he's like almost like a, sh a smaller version of Tyson. Yeah. Um, but he's rounded, which I like uh, about China Boy. Um, but with, with like we said with Tyson, he's a uh, he weighs max. I think he, he can get up to like ninety five pounds, which is unhealthy, you know, in his in his body. So I try to keep it between eighty seven and ninety pounds. Um, health, yep. Okay, we got some more questions. Um, Tito asking you, Tito Gonzalez, how tall is is he? Sorry, I just got you. Yeah, I see a lot of people just got you also. Um, uh, you can ask your questions. We busy. I'll be busy answering people, uh, the questions from the from, from from the viewers. So all of you just came on. You can send you send through your questions. We, we will definitely uh, un, uh, answer them. So he's asking how tall is he? I'm assuming he's asking about uh, uh, Tyson. Um, from the withers, he's about uh, a good fifteen inches. Fifteen inches. Uh, a good fifteen inches, but he's wide. He's a very wide dog. Um, because of his thickness, I think it puts on that height. Yeah. Um, but again, uh, I, 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 when I stacked him next to two bigger dogs, people are they, they're still amazed how big his head is compared yeah. to these bigger dogs, you know. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> again, I, I try to do my best to, to bring him out there to show people. Yeah, so um, yeah. I ain't afraid to, to stack him. Yeah. To to any home, he's not afraid to stack the dog. Give him a round of applause. He's not afraid. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. But he, I guess you know uh, that's how you got to do it. You know, uh, you got to go out there, you network. But it's a friend, like I said, it's a friendly stack. Exactly. Um, not to to go out there to to shit on people. Demean <laughs> any dog or anything. Like, again, Tyson's yeah. not perfect, but. Um, Again, I, I, I built friendships with a lot of people yeah. uh, that in a lot of respect, too. So. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, let me go to the next question saying, uh, what is the ideal split male to female for a stud out breeder? So how many dogs, I'm guessing, splitting it up um, when you're starting your own kennel? How many males do you have and how many females? Ideally. Uh, well, well, as of now, like, like since I'm... Uh, Owner and 
and uh, I just finally kind of settled into Texas, so yeah. I probably will build a little bit more with my females. Uh, I got more males than I do females, obviously. Uh, I keep a lot of my my sons and grandsons off of Tyson. Um, but uh, um, as a normal breeder, you, of course, you have your main stud, yeah. um, and then you have his legacy, which is, you know, like Sir Dom. Yeah. Um, but I would, I would have, like, if I was going to start keeping females, I would at least have three females, yeah. you know, um, to, to balance it out. Yeah. Um, it's, it's hard. I, you know, it's not easy having two females come in heat and yeah. you end up having two litters. Yeah. That's, that's like the worst thing, especially if you have a job. Yeah. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah. It's, 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 uh, it's really rough. Yeah. It's not, so it's not a good experience. Starting up three females, one male. When you're starting up. Yeah. Okay. Three feet. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Who's the best Tyson son and daughter as of today? Oh, man. <laughs> uh, there, there's quite a few. I mean, they all look, they all have their looks. Um, yeah. But, you know, just not so I, I, don't, I don't hurt any other feelings. I'm just going to go ahead and just go with Dom uh, yeah. in, in my yard. Dom yeah. is one of <laughs> to me, yeah. what I own, one of the best ones I own. Yeah. Um, but I, I say producing wise, uh, uh, right now, Mighty is one of my, uh, owned by Lemuel in yeah. the Philippines. He's uh, one of Tyson's son who, who out produced, you know, pretty much his dad, you know, he's, he's been producing left and right in the Philippines, uh, yeah. uh, producing beautiful puppies. Yeah. Uh, but look wise, uh, and all around it, it, it's Sir Dom, you Sir know, Dom. uh, for females, um, there's, there's a few, but, uh, one of them, uh, again is, uh, uh, owned by, uh, one of my uh, good friends in the Philippines is, yeah. uh, Bixby. Uh, she was, she's a Tyson daughter. She's well-rounded, yeah. uh, very good confirmation you know when it comes to to trying to go in the ring um, but she's bully really yeah. bully uh, sweet so the philippines is doing it real big out there we need, we need to get them on the show on the show one of these philippines guys because i see they got a lot of your dogs there man they got... <laughs> <laughs> sweet we got a lot of guys saying uh alan much love brother jeff almososa uh, let's go unify bullies yeah <laughs> i don't want to see saying this one that's the right man right there. <laughs> it's another comment. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then uh, okay, let's get to a question. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, I found a question. Yeah, it's a lot of a lot of love you're getting, you know. And it's like, uh, if the that's the dog in the back, he's a beast. <laughs> Let me just show him the dog yeah. again because I see that they be asking. Yeah. Let me just uh, uh enlarge your screen over so they can see it. There you go. Tyson is the one on the what's that? Is that right or left? Or left? Yeah, right there. That's Tyson. And then the other one is right. Sir Dom. Yeah. Dom, yeah. Fantastic. There we go. You saw them. They're a beast. They're a beast. And then you say... Thanks. Okay. And then, yeah, here's a question. Uh, it says, how much is an estimated price for a Tyson or Sir Dom puppy? Um, this average price starting is at four. Four G's, you know, four thousand, yeah. uh, four thousand yeah. dollars. Um, I've sold uh, pups from my pick uh, up to like ten, ten grand. Yeah. Um, but uh, you know, uh, trying to be reasonable uh, with the price, but you know, uh, but it starts off at four thousand when it comes to to his liver, especially yeah. if it's directly off of Dyson. Yeah. You know. Let's give this man a round of applause, man. Four to ten grand for a puppy. It's lit. <laughs> and then we got uh, uh, what's his uh, Ivan is saying pictures don't do him justice these boys have to be seen in person shout out shout out yeah. Ivan sweet and it's like awesome to see the differences in kennels appreciate the answer fantastic thank you brother he's just giving us a shot giving you some love out there from South Africa it's Jamie as what he's saying Sweet. Thank you, much. I'm going to give you guys a few more minutes. If you got some questions, you can still ask some questions. I'm going to give you like two more minutes. Ask the homie some questions. If you got them, I'm going to give you two more minutes. And then if not, we're going we gonna to wrap it up. And we're going we gonna to continue the show. You know? But we got the OG in the back right there. Uh, Jeff, he's been doing it. Answering a pure 
straight and simple, man. Not hiding anything. Pure facts, pure fire. He's got fire dogs in the background there. So you know what it is. You know what it is. And then we got your brother over here saying, shout out Bully Club. Yeah, shout out. It is what it is. Bully Club TV, baby. We're doing it big every weekend. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, send, send to your questions if we still got more. We still got the homie Jeff. You know, he's got the boy over there in the back. Let me just show you guys again. He's got Tyson and said Dom. And then the new boy that I posted on my on my channel, I'm gonna post him up again. Uh Doza. He's he's looking beast, I must tell you. He's looking beast. You know? And then we're gonna make a plan to get some of that semen down here. <laughs> you need to come to one of our shows one time. I need I need you to make a, a plan when we have a show after this whole lockdown and bring you down here, man. Oh heck yeah, yeah, that'd be great. You know, take a tour down to South Africa. I still gotta hit up Australia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, but yeah, I definitely yeah. look forward to that and doing that for sure. Definitely, we need to do it. We need to. Do it. I had a lot of guys, uh, breeders out there that I was interviewing, and they all like, you know, they really want to come see what's happening down here. You know, before this platinum uh, platform, they couldn't really see. You know, but then now we we unifying everybody, and they are able to. To see what's going on, you know. Let me see. That yeah, second. definitely. Last one. Um, oh man, let's see. Oh, okay. Say, so, uh, Lemanuel Alcatara Super Kutal Miti, you and you is special. Mention on the on this life, boss. I don't know who them people is. I can't even pronounce them correct. <laughs> I don't think I know them. Okay, sweet guy. We had we had the main man of uh, uh Jeff from Unified uh, Bullies. Uh, okay, we got another question. Let me just put it. Let me just. Uh, he says, "Is it better to reach you, Jeff, on Instagram or Facebook?" Uh, Instagram, mostly. You know. Uh, I get a lot of messages from Facebook. Sometimes it, it gets thrown into the spam, so I, I don't see it. So yeah. I apologize if I don't I don't reply right away because it's I have to look back in the uh, in in where where the so, messages so goes. Instagram but uh, is Instagram always. is one of the best ones uh, yeah. because it reaches out farther, yeah. uh, and and I and I can see the messages right away. So yeah, Instagram will be best to contact me. Definitely, I think you're. I got a post here from. For the Instagram, that's the Instagram right there. Go hit him up, baby. Go hit him up, boys and girls. Uh, holler at the homie. He said he's, he can answer all your questions on the Instagram. He's got his things. I mean, he's selling letters from four thousand to ten thousand dollars. You know what it is. It's, it's American Bullies, man. This is Bully Club TV, and then over there is Jeff from Unified Bullies. Shout out to the main man. Thank you very much for joining us out here, man. And you know, making making the best of what we have out here. Uh, t t talking to us. Telling us about your bullies, giving us the road down, and answering the people's questions, man. Shout out to you, man. I'm give you a round of applause for coming out here, man. Thank you very much, man. We appreciate, it. I appreciate you uh, having me on uh, on your on your show. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just want to give a shout out to to all my uh, all my family out there, uh, uh, especially uh, DJ, who are CEO for Unified Bullies, and my brother yeah. Jasper. Shout out Unified. Uh, for all the support and then the unified in usa and the philippines you know we, we stay strong uh we still push yeah. uh to breed and to to produce something uh that uh is is a wow you know yeah, coming yeah. from tyson you know try to keep it keep it real i got one more last question before we go um the guy's asking uh is there any chance that you will bring tyson yeah in the philippines uh for a show or a chance to breed with other bullies uh, there. Jeez, I, I wish. Uh, <laughs> it, it, nowadays, it's hard to travel with a dog, you know, yeah, uh, yeah, especially yeah, with yeah, his yeah. size. Uh, but you know, maybe one day, you know, yeah. uh, maybe we'll one see. Day, we'll see it. It's gonna happen. It's life. It's Jeff. It's Unified Bullies. It's that fire, baby. And thank you very much for the interview again. Baby. <laughs> If anybody missed the interview, you can catch it on our YouTube and you can catch it on our Facebook. It's going to be right there for you guys to watch it and, you know, to get get some info. And then if you want, here's the homie's uh, Instagram. We're going to show it to you right now. You can go hit him up if you if you didn't get a chance to ask him any questions. There's his uh, Instagram handle. Go and hit him up. Uh, ask him what you got to ask. And let's make this thing pop, man. It's Booty Club TV. It's your boy. Your host with the most easy. And that's the main right there. Jeff signing out. Sweet brother, thank you very much for showing up. Bully Club out. Oh, yeah.
There we go. We had Jeff in the building. Shout out to Jeff. Shout out to Jeff. Uh, let's, let's put this up right there. Where we go? Yeah. On a little fresh baby's Bullet Club TV. We're doing a big. You saw we had our boy uh, Jeff out here. And uh, he answered all the questions. He did all the, 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 the things, you know, to make, to, make, to, make, to make it hot out here in Bullet Club TV. Join us again. Next week, we're going to have heads to heads we're gonna have a special guest interview a very special guest interview you know we know we always got special interviews from all the way overseas and all that stuff and then we got uh we, we, got, we got we got my boy over here we got a special guest as well right here in the back there he is over there sleeping there's his name there is big chief lucky luciano's son He's out there, he paid us a visit. He's like, yo, I, I need to pay us a visit. But he's out there sleeping now. He's gone. Let me, let me see if we can get him up. Yo, Chief. 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 Check him out. There he is. Come here, boy. There he is. We got Big Chief in the back right there. You know? He's out there. He's just paying a visit to Booty Club TV. You know, Booty Club. He's a Booty Booty Mask. Check him out. Looking like, like Luciana's son. You know? It is what it is. But he's sleeping, man. He's sleeping. So we're not we're not we're not gonna show him now he's sleeping. But yeah, you saw him, he's out there. Thank you very much for everybody joining the show. Uh we're gonna be again on live uh next week. Check us out, we'll be back on. Uh we'll be doing we'll be doing a special guest interview. Um uh, check us out next week, Sunday. Same time, every time for Sunday. We're doing a special guest interview with an international and on a Saturday we're gonna be doing head to heads with South African female bullies and so forth. And then we're gonna see what happened with Cape Town with the with the with the thing. So we're gonna be we we, we we signing out, baby. It is what it is. It's Booty Club TV. You know, we 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 we, we want to thank everybody for supporting us and uh, you know showing us love, uh, copying our match every time. You know, everybody's getting our merchandise and all that. Let me see if you can see that one over there. That's the sweater over there. Hit me up. Contact me. Get the. The merchandise, get the merchandise, let's make it pop, okay? Get the merchandise, let's post you, let's promote, and let's, let's, let's make the, the bullies out there and everybody uh, unite, baby. That's what we're all about. That's what Bully Club is all about, yeah. We're about uniting everybody and making sure uh, everybody can, you know, be friends and everything, man. We, we, gotta, we, we gotta unite, we gotta unite. That's what it is. We're signing out, baby. Bully Club TV, baby. Hit me up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Subscribe and follow the channel, baby. Bully no, Club Co on Facebook. Bully Facebook. Club underscore on Instagram. Bully Club TV on YouTube. Right there below my screen. Go and hit me up. And then let's do yeah. it. Let's do it. My nigga G Flash. Yeah. Thank you very much for joining Bully Club TV, baby. It's your boy, the host with yeah. the most. When we hop easy. On the band, yeah. It's Bully Club TV. Follow us so you can get all the updates and all Tell that stuff, cool. you know? All that fire. Shout out to Jeff. We ain't gonna stress For his interview with five bullies. Yeah. Whip it like woo. Yeah. That's my number over there. Send me uh, your badass females for the next week's show for the head to head. We're gonna do females, Joburg and Cape Town. And then we're gonna do Cape Town and Durban. Just like we did last time. Females only. We did the males, now we're doing the females. Hit me up. Send me all send me all the numbers, all the pictures and everything of your dogs on my WhatsApp. All my DMs and my Facebook, Instagram, whatever. Let's hit it. Put it up to you, we live. Thank you, for joining. You just a nigga with the bigger top. I am the nigga with bigger songs. Yeah. I am the nigga with bigger songs. I said it twice so you can get the point. They catching fever when best involved. You say you the shit? Oh, hell no. Flash your niggas. Yeah. My nigga G flashy. To the boy. Tell them we cool. We ain't gonna stress, though. Oh yeah. Ain't gonna stress. Whip it like woo. Whip it like woo. Whip. Whip. Yeah. My nigga G flash. Flex. Flex. Yeah. Your chick be like. Yeah. yeah. When we hop out the band, yeah. Score. Score. Yeah. Tell them we cool. Tell them we cool. Uh. We ain't gonna stress, though. Yeah. Whip it like woo. Uh, my nigga G flashy. It's fake smiles when I pull up. Pull up. 
I brush them off like who ya? Your trip's done, I gon' pull up. pull up. It's why Steve's when we pull up. pull up. And live it bloody when we take off. <laughs> you fishing niggas better love the hook. Yeah. You fishing niggas better love the hook. Yeah. I be walking in private. I don't want no drama. Let it down for my homie. Somebody tell him it's flex time. Yeah, my nigga G flashy. Tell him we cool. We ain't gonna stress, dawg. Oh, yeah. It's Bully Club my nigga TV, G baby. We're signing now. We my out. Thank you for flash. everybody joining me. That's my number over there. Hit me up. Send me the females for the next week's show. And then follow us, man. Get all the updates so you, you tune in and everything. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Thank you very much. Bully Club TV, we out.